Well, good morning, folks. <clears throat> Here is an update on the dual camera system that I fitted recently. Now, if you look uh, very carefully at this photograph, you will then say, what dual camera system? Yes, to those people who said it's going to end up in the same place as the gear position indicator that you did, namely the dustbin, you were correct. What a prediction. All those Nostradamuses, or is it Nostradami out there? Yes, the rear camera stopped working. All it produced, it recorded files, lots of them, every trip, every five minutes, and all they were were a black square. So the rear camera stopped working, and the front one carried on working. But I don't like malfunctioning rubbish on my bike, apart from me. So I've removed it all. So the videos I posted of a nice little installation, and all done properly, of course, is all been reversed because it's no good. It's ended up in the bin. So there you have it. The camera's gone. Look off the brake reservoir. And, you know, it's one of these things. I mean, I think it was Edison who invented the light bulb said, I haven't failed. <laughs> I've just found 10,000 ways that don't work. So, mock not. At least I've tried it for 35 quid. And now we all know it's not worth doing. And, actually, I contacted the person on eBay and said, look, this is rubbish. And they gave me a refund. 100% refund. So... I just sort of said it's not very good and they've uh, they've given me a refund so that was very kind of them so it's a project that didn't actually cost anything there's the front of the bike as you can see the master brake cylinder is now unadorned with a camera perched on it and I must say I do like the idea of having a front camera so my project is going to be that I'm going to fit a Hero 4 session camera it's a cube shaped camera it's slight apparently bigger than about like a big ice cube and a mount I'm going to fit some sort of permanent mount onto the handlebars because I like the idea of having a camera even with the rubbish one I felt better with it on there's the camera gone from the back end look no damage done, a couple of holes in the in the uh, mudguard, but they can be filled with grommets. And the mudguards I'm going to get rid of anyway at some point. I must say, at the moment, I don't like the idea of paying 270 quid for two stainless mudguards for this bike and getting charged 10 quid for postage. I think that is a lot of cash for a couple of mudguards. Um, I think they'd sell a lot more of them if it was at a more reasonable price. I think that's very expensive. When you look on eBay and you see what mudguards, chromed mudguards cost for other bikes, you know, they're 40 quid, 50 quid. So I'm not going to pay for one. Now, for those people who said to me, that padlock on your disc is, gonna, is an accident waiting to happen. And I rather smugly said, oh, well, I've been doing it for years and not had a problem. Well, there you go. Look, a reminder wire. This was bought for me by a colleague of mine at school mr t who bought me that wasn't that nice of him thank you craig and i use it all the time now because you never know you're right really so i do like to listen and i think it's a good thing you know posting videos like this and getting people's views so as you can see side view of the bike no cable ties on it or anything like that to the uh, now defunct camera system now i've got another project which i've just bought the gadget this morning it's been covered in other videos for other bikes i know that so you know yeah people can point out yeah it's been done yes it has but i've not done it before and i'm going to do it and i'm going to post about it so what it is it's a decelerometer that will flash the rear brake lights when light is it light or lights i suppose is it one bulb or two i don't know and on the standard rear brake like but anyway it's this it's a smart brake module i looked at the test i've checked the compatibility check it apparently is three wires so there'll be a power wire what the live wire that goes to the rear brake cluster and two others and it's a question of snipping into the wiring not the main wiring harness that freaks me a bit it's i think it's cutting into the mini harness at the back that the rear light cluster connects to the main wiring harness with that's not quite so freaky so i've ordered it and what it does is you know when you decelerate you're under engine braking 
and your bike is therefore slowing down and then you find that when you do that the car behind you and you look in your rear view mirror has got a lot closer to you now experienced riders which i am we would give a little stab on the brake pedal normally when throttling off or a little grip on the front hand, uh, handlebar brake lever you know if you don't do it or if you get to do it or whatever you know that's when you seem to get this yo-yo effect of a car getting closer and then you accelerate away and then when you slow down again it gets closer again this gadget which is apparently not a rubbish one according to reviews and looking at it is a decelerometer that apparently doesn't work at, in traffic you know when you go to traffic lights and things you don't want to be flashing to the car behind you permanently every time you throttle off and you've moved a foot forward apparently it doesn't do that so it's got some sort of decelerometer in it it learns in some way so it's supposed to be a little bit intelligent so that will go well with me on the bike and i think it's worth having so two forthcoming projects you can wait with bated breath as to whether they're rubbish again and uh, we'll see how i get on so we've got the hero 4 which I'm in the process of trying to acquire. I don't want to buy a brand new one in case it's, you know, as successful as the other projects I've done recently. And this one. So I will post again very soon. In the meantime, take care. I've been out in all the rain just to teach myself a lesson. And uh, if you're out in this, be ultra careful and uh, I'll post again soon. So take care and see you for now.